Good morning children. Today we shall learn how to solve a linear equation with variable on both the sides. So here we have a linear equation with one variable and the variable was only on one side. As you can see here the variable is y and it is on the left hand side of the equation. What do you see here? This is also an equation with one variable but what is the difference? Here we see the variable is on both the sides. See here 4y on the left hand side and y on the right hand side. So let us solve this equation which has variable on both the sides. To solve this equation we should know left hand side is equal to right hand side. So let us solve this equation. 5 plus 4y is equal to y plus 3. Now here for starting the solution you should remember we need to find the value of y. So firstly what we should do? We should try to move or have the variable only on one side. So let's try to have the variable y only on one side. Uh, let's say left hand side. So what can we do? If you see, if we subtract y from both the sides, then what happens? In this case, let's subtract y from both the sides. So on the LHS, 5 plus 4y minus y and on the RHS also we need to subtract y. So it becomes y plus 3 minus y. Solving it further, we get 5, we just write it down as 5, 4y minus y becomes 3y on the LHS and this is equal to, what do we get on the RHS? y minus y becomes 0, so we are left with only 3. So this equation gets reduced to 5 plus 3y is equal to 3 or plus 3, they are the same. Let's solve it further. Here we see 5 plus 3y equal to 3. Here we need to get the value of y. So what to do? So subtract 5 from both the sides. Why? This we are doing so that on the LHS there is only variable y remaining. So that this way it becomes easier to get the value of y. So what do we get? 5 plus 3y minus 5 is equal to 3 minus 5. Solving it further, we get 5 minus 5 cancel each other. So we are left with 3y on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have 3 minus 5. We already know how to subtract integers. What do we do? We will subtract 3 from 5 so we get 2 and we put the sign of the number which has higher absolute value here which is minus 5. So answer of 3 minus 5 becomes minus 2. Let's solve it further. We will divide both the sides by 3 and what do we get? On the LHS we get 3y divided by 3 becomes y and on the RHS we get minus 2 divided by 3. So here we get the solution which is y equal to minus 2 by 3. This is the solution. How do you check it? Let's put the value of y in the given linear equation. So here is the equation which we were given. 5 plus 4y is equal to y plus 3. Let's put y equal to minus 2 by 3. Putting the value, what do we get? We get 5 plus 4 multiplied by, instead of y, we write minus 2 by 3, which is equal to, for y, we replace it with minus 2 by 3 plus 3. Solving it further, what do we get? We get 5 
4 multiplied by minus 2 is equal to 8. Here we get minus 8 by 3 which is equal to here we take the LCM. LCM of 3 and 1 is 3 and what do we get as a numerator? Minus 2 and 3 3's are 9 so we get minus 2 plus 9 by 3. Solving this further what do we get? Here again we take the LCM which is 3 3 5's are 15 minus 8 divided by 3 is equal to 7 by 3 as 9 minus 2 is 7 and what is 15 minus 8 it is equal to 7 so we get here 7 by 3 is equal to 7 by 3 so LHS is equal to RHS hence we can say the value of which we obtain was the correct solution so now you know how to solve a linear equation with variable on both the sides that's all for now bye bye children